Hi, it's John Brum. It's not. I'm not an it. I'm a man. I'm a human being. My name is John Birmingham. Hi, everyone. If you already know me or kind of know me from my channel or know who I am, have heard of me or whatever, this is my channel and I bought this art school I'm living in now and um, I fixed it. Or, well, I renovated it, worked at this place for six years and it's about to be sold. I think I'm leaving and um, I found this new cool place. It's called Meteor City. Meteor City. It's almost like the whole place is an entire city, but it's not really a city. And some places call it a ghost town, but it's not a ghost town. It has this richer looking place at it too, right next to a meteor. And um, here's this place. It's not as expensive. That this this is the place that I want to buy. It's not the rich place that they made a new version of it right next to the meteor. It look it's on Wikipedia. This is the place I want to buy. And um, literally on Wikipedia, it was like a landmark or something like that, a historic place. I don't, I don't know what it's called, but it, it was it's um it's in Arizona, and um it's really good. And I'd have to restore it, put some money into it, and make sure it looks okay, and I'll get money from my house, a bunch of a huge well, a kind of a um almost a a, a fortune or a small fortune depending on how you look at it. And uh, it's from working for my parents for 17 years and going to schools because they told me they'd pay for me if I went to schools before that. And um, I got scholarship. I got a scholarship to one of the best film schools there was. Got an MFA and went to all these schools, like they said. And uh, and then I went to work for them for 17 years, and it was not easy. It was not easy studying and making all these grades on my own to get into the schools on my own. You know, my my parent, my mom and dad's money didn't didn't really help me get into the schools. They had student loans that I got, and then later my my mom and dad actually did help me pay them off. But um, it was my hard work. Anyway, look at this. Here's the place. See that dome? But look at the condition of it. And I don't know if it's worth eighty thousand. Maybe I can get it for 80000 I don't know how much land is on it. It, it. Maybe there's a huge amount of land. I, I got a thought from my grandmother who's in heaven, 80000 and it's mine. So I don't know. But uh, it may be too expensive for me to spend on that because I don't have a huge, a really huge amount of money or something. So I'd have to put money into, fix, into um, renovating it and, and spend time I'd have to renovate it and I was going to go be famous before I get too old in Los Angeles and here I'd just be like you know I don't know how famous it'd be like as famous as I already am or something I used to be on Wikipedia too some jerk took me off Wikipedia somebody put me on Wikipedia and I didn't do it and then I was on there for a while and then they took me off Wikipedia my, my picture's on it somewhere that's me bragging about myself but I don't know here's the place it's like this dome they built in 1979. This is dome they built in 1979. I found it in this guy's video online who who, who does videos. Is um, I don't want to talk about his channel. Here here, this looks like this was the place when it was making money and in better shape in the. 80s, no, 90s, there's the 2000s or something. I don't know when this was, 2010s. Um, here's the place now. I want to see what it looks like in the, I think, I think these two people own it and then they have, they have a bunch of money now. I don't know if that's true or not, that if it's them or not, but there are these people who have some money and they have this other place that's nearby it. I want to see the picture. Oh, it's on Route 66. Meteor City Trading Post. The old historic Route 66. And it's on, It's also called Purple Heart. Um, something good like an Indian name, but also Purple Heart. Purple Heart Trail. 
Purple Heart Trail. Purple Heart Trail. Purple Heart Trail. And and that's good because it's like you know Purple Heart Army, the Army. <clears throat> so uh, that's named after the Army per when they give people a Purple Heart when they've been in war or, or um, injured in war or they or they did a heroic uh, a heroic thing. <clears throat> and uh, so uh, I haven't really studied it, but my dad has I think one or two. I know he has at least one Purple Heart, and he may have two. He got two, they sent him two. He has two purple hearts and some other ones. I don't know, if, I, I don't think he has a medal of honor because I think that's from the president and I would have known. But it's trail, like Indian. My dad, you know, he's he's nice, he's not. Just because he was in the army. You know, they have Indians who, are, who join the army. <clears throat> Native Americans, Indians. Here's the meteor that hit where the, where the place is. This might have been the meteor that had a huge effect on the world. That's a huge meteor. It's a huge meteor, meteor and the place is right at the meteor. So it's really, it could be a really old meteor. And along, in, in the 1800s or so, they, they thought it was, it, it, it used to be a volcano and then this guy showed up and he said it was um, a meteor and then um, he started I think this trading post maybe I don't know or it was named after him or something he has another name and then um, but the the Indians I think lived here yeah the Indians it's a giant meteor but um, so I was thinking about buying it, but I, it may only be worth twenty thousand or thirty thousand. This place, which was the original trade post near the meteor, and now they built like a new rich-looking building right at the meteor. <coughs> but it, it, it may only be worth twenty or twenty thousand or thirty thousand uh, dollars, because I don't know what condition it's in now. And this dome was built in 1979, but the original built the original place there is this other place behind it. See that? I think that's it. That not those uh, this other. Well, I don't know why they put the teepees there, but that other this thing that building to the side of it that they spray painted that's the original one from like 1930 something and uh, it was on route 66 and thank god those are just wires on the outside of the building the outside of the building looks in good condition you know you could just paint it if you felt like doing something to the outside <coughs> or if I feel like doing something to the outside if I buy it <coughs> And now the meteor has this rich place next to it that has a, it's a different trade post. This is called the, um, something trade post, the Meteor City Trade Post. Hey, for sale. It says it's for sale. And, and you know, I'm, I'm probably not going to move here. I, am, I don't know. I might buy it. I might buy it and live here as a house. They're asking 150,000. This was in 2013, and it's not in the same condition. So, I I felt for my grandmother. It was like this. Uh, who, who's in heaven? She's in heaven. I felt this feeling. It's my. It's yours for 80,000. <clears throat> but then I thought, is it even worth that? What condition is it in? Do I? How much work am I going to have to do? because uh, I don't want to get older doing work. This house took six years, but it's a mansion. But um, I only needed to work on this house for six months, and it was good enough to live in. It was good enough to live in. So to get this place good enough to live in, maybe it'd be two months. Two months. Work. Wow, here it is. Looks pretty cool. Somebody took a good picture of it.
that's in Arizona, but it's uh, more than seven hours away, about seven hour, a little more than seven hours from Los Angeles, and um, I'd have to get my kids there. We'd just probably just live in it because I wouldn't want. I don't know about. I don't know how it's zoned. I have to find out how it's zoned, how much land it has, if uh, if it has land there, if it has acres or if it's I don't know. But this guy filmed a video on it. I'll just look on YouTube. But I want to show you the. Oh, I want to show you the rich guys. Not the rich guy, but the successful guy who worked hard, and they have a good website. Um, there's another trade post that's near it that's the one that's in business right now these people were the only two inhabitants of the entire town meteor city or something these these people they owned it I think I think they owned it. He lived there, and then he met his wife. He showed up one day, and he married her. I think. And I think he called it me a meteor first, and then said so <laughs> they called it Meteor City. <laughs> Some young people near it. I guess a bunch of people would show up looking at it and stuff. I don't know if I'd want to live right at a place where all these people are driving up all the time but maybe Meteor City there's one of the TPs it looks like it's made of cement or something strong I have to see what it's made of but it doesn't have any cracks in it that in the built in the, in the, uh, the home or building or home or whatever it's called. It's a home. It's a home, I think. Uh, or it could be a home or business. I have to see if it's zoned to live in, if you could just live in it. I would just want to live in it and then people could walk around outside or something if they showed up. I don't know. That would be so weird. Or I'd, if they showed up, I could like try to make money. But you might have to use it as a business instead of just getting to live in it. It's a famous. It's like a famous place, but my house was kind of famous too, or is. <clears throat> Doesn't have any cracks on the outside of that, what it's made of. It looks really good. It just needs paint. Maybe, or, yeah, paint. This is how the condition of it is, like, I think now, but I don't know. This is September 2020. Maybe I could get a truck and go to Home Depot and do work to it myself. <laughs> yeah, but I see these people are like really happy and excited about it. I don't know how excited I'd be about moving to another place that's like, you know, away from movies and stuff. I want I, I want to do I I I like doing movies and being in movies and and uh. And I want to be around my wife and kids, and she, you know, she's my wife, and I think she is. And uh, and so I don't know what I would do here. It would take like another two or three months just to get the place looking like new enough for them to live in. And I don't, and they'd probably let me live in it, but I don't know. I have to see how it's zoned if I can live in it. And um, I want to make sure I'm able to do that. Instead of it just being a business, if I if I if I live there, maybe to live somewhere, <laughs> live somewhere. That's what I'm trying to do is just get a house to live in. And this one is for sale. It's not that expensive. Ten years ago, it was 150 thousand. It's in worse condition now. So I don't know. I got a feeling for my grandmother. It's mine for 80 thousand. <laughs> hey, these people who are friend suggestions. I'm not gonna say. If they're in my family, I think they're in my family. I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> I'm 
Meteor City. Look, they made a movie called Asteroid City, I think. I think, yeah, after the same place. And they just came out this year. Two months ago, this trailer was uploaded. Asteroid City. <clears throat> it's named after the same place. Tom Hanks is in it. It's like their big famous thing. I, it's, uh, you know, it's, um, it might be a kind of cool place to live in. <laughs> it's a huge, this is a huge movie with Tom Hanks. There's the a guy who played the, there's the other person. It smells awful. I don't know why. I think I'm going to take a shower. I feel like such a nerd. I feel just like Meteor City. This is, this is a Meteor City thing. A smaller indie film, it looks like. Not a huge studio movie, but still big. It looks big. It looks like a studio movie. It is. This might be the uh, the short film they did to uh, get the money for Asteroid City. This looks big budget. It looks pretty good. Meteor Hotel, Meteor City. Here's Meteor City, Arizona. Let's look at it. I'm turning the volume up. <laughs> Praise God and praise Jesus. It's right near the freeway or highway. Not the freeway, highway. It's not it's not that bad. It's pretty uh good. It's pretty close to the highway. It's not that close. It's a problem. It's like a peaceful highway. It's not busy. Hello, everybody. I am no longer in Oregon. Yeah, it wasn't for me. Too wet, too rainy. Just not my kind of place. So now I'm back on the road. Or I'm on the road. Yeah, back on the road. And I'm now in uh, Arizona. And while driving through, yeah. Yeah. I'm heading east. <laughs> anyway, driving through, I saw a landmark hey. that I had to stop at. Hey, and so, guys, guys, here's what I'm trying to tell you about. This is my place. You got a yam. You got it handed to you. You. <laughs> a yam. A yam. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give. Watch yourself, Mother Hubbard. That's all I'll say. That jam is yours, you understand? You're, you may give it back here, you may give it. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want it. I'm not interested in either of those. I don't want the yam. I don't want the gay man. Yikes. That's all I have to tell you. You may be a, you meet a stripper. You may meet a stripper. You watch. Watch your language for life. You know what I did? I killed someone. May have. May tell you. Get to it. <laughs> well, don't know exactly what this is supposed to be. I got to it. But, uh, is what said. it is what it is, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> As you can see, the freeway is right there. This, I believe, is Route 66, or was left of Route 66. If you guys know, please let me know. It is. But this is where I'm going, right here. They call it Meteor City. Pretty cool place. 
Look at this. They got some, uh, these of course aren't ancient. They're copies of what is, used to be. Look at my wagon over there. It's cold. I'll tell you that, it's cold. Pretty cool, huh? The place isn't open, there's nothing here. It says no trespassing. But I'm not going inside. Like I always say, I... Sworn. He's sworn before. Anyway, let me tell you about this place. So, I came out here. Here it is. Here's a Facebook. Meter City. And as you can see, the place is monitored by closed circuit and audio. But this is pretty cool. No trespassing, keep out. They got this, I guess, uh, correct it is or anything like that. So, those of you who are offended by this for some reason, well, life is what it is. But they're working on it, I guess. I don't know how much has been done and how much hasn't. It's left to do, but it is, you know, it's a cool stop. And I, I saw it on the freeway and I had to stop. Look at this. That is petrified wood, boys and girls. Big old chunk of petrified wood. There's not much here, as you can see. But let's get a different angle. This is cool. Let's walk around here. Look at this. This is the this is where I'm at right here. Nothing here, man. Nothing here. Flat, flat, flat. Looks like they had a stable or barn or something over there. They got, I don't know, maybe they had horses or something. <coughs> Here's this. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot happening here right now. That's too bad. But the TP really isn't anything spectacular. It's uh, tar paper and painted. But check that out. The pinning of a scorpion, a feather, and looks like cement or something really strong because it, it's been there since 1979. It has no cracks. Right? Yeah, back here there's not a lot going on. It's garbaged, but uh, I had to stop. That's supposed to be one of those Kachina dolls, I think they're called. Anybody who knows, go ahead and post it. If you know anything more about this place, I'd appreciate it. But pretty cool. Yeah. My adventure now is heading eastward. I'm gonna probably go towards Tennessee. I got a brother out there and uh, I'm gonna go visit him. Whether I live there or not, I don't know. I'm Right now I'm on the road. But like I say, Oregon didn't work out for me. And uh, I'm kind of free and easy on the, on the go, so go, go, go. Anyway, I hope you like what you saw. There, there's not a lot to it. Uh, I'll get a parting shot to make sure I have a little more, but there's, there's not a whole lot here. A whole lot of traffic, though. And uh, it's about 7 in the morning, I guess. I don't know if I said that or not. 7 in the morning, pretty cool. 30 degrees, 40 degrees. No, it's about 30. It's pretty cold. So that does this video. That's it. Uh, pretty short one. I'm going to get a parting shot of what is here and uh, I hope you liked it I hope you enjoyed the little, quick, quick little brief scenery to get to this you take exit 229 off of uh, interstate 40
Interstate 40. You can't miss it. I didn't know it was here, and suddenly I saw it, and I pulled off. So, with that, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you give it a like. Give a nice comment. Keep it nice. And uh, I'll see you in the next adventure. Because I'm on the road. Bye for now. I was just joking about him killing somebody and all that stuff. I said I was just trying to be funny. Like, like you know, a funny thing. It's not at all. I don't even know who the guy is. the first time I've ever seen him. <laughs> I don't know. There's a guy who, who filmed a video on it. It was it literally had 66 views. <laughs> Route 66. Okay. So I'm going to go. Praise God. Praise Jesus. I'm going to stop the video and upload this. I may just build a house. How much to build your own home? Well, 111,000, you'd have a brand new home. And buy the land on it for 20, 20,000, 20,000. There are places in Italy you can buy for $1 and just, you know, uh, Homes to buy in Italy for one dollar. They let you move in, and you can do the work. You can do the work to fix it up, or just move in. I think one pound, maybe uh, two dollars, a dollar seventy. <laughs> okay. They still have those. They don't want them to be thrown away so they let people live there for a dollar and if they have the internet and, they, and I think they make people they want people to renovate them and uh, you can own it oh shit I don't want you to see my personal business on here I'm going to go praise God praise Jesus bye believe in God and Jesus and you'll be saved this is John Birmingham this is one place I may go after I leave my home here Bye.